Hello everyone and welcome to 2021. I have officially decided to declare this year as year of the habitual woman. Only makes sense to me. We're in a, a era of needing to get back to what we knew and what made us feel good and just kind of just get out of the rut of the whole shenanigans of 2020 and the COVID and the pandemic and all that stuff. So what I want to do is in three videos, I want to explain to you and speak to you about what uh, Year of the Habitual Woman looks like. So this first one is going to go over lifestyle. And what that means is the type of topics and things I'm going to discuss and teach and resources that I'm going to give you and guests that I'm going to present and so forth is going to deal with daily rituals, um, morning, evening, maybe monthly, quarterly, just kind of just different things to do to check in with yourself, make sure you're definitely focusing on whole body wellness. Uh, also habits. So definitely getting back to habits, building um, great habits, good habits, pushing out the bad habits, habit stacking. This is all stuff that I'll, I'll explain to you. Um, when not small habits, building up to make big change. Um, it, it's it's my thing, right? I.e. the habitual coach. So that's something that we're going to go over. Um, I'm going to focus on stuff like focus, right? Brain fog. Um, there's a lot of that going on right now. There's a lot to try to digest and deal with. And so with that, we're trying to still do what we're passionate about and what we love and, and getting slightly distracted. Um, are needing tools or resources or the right foods or liquids um, and nourishment in our body to make that happen. Um, also sleep. That is so off right now, um, especially with people working from home or dealing with the kids at home or not being able to go out or just trying to figure all that out. Stuff being closed, not closed, the whole nine. So just getting back to recharging and resting our body so that it can recover while we sleep um, and balance, right? Um, a lot of us actually are going to be making a shift either our, with ourselves or with our kids or spouses or partners or whatnot in regards to shifting back to being more mobile, more out of the house. Um, and so, so trying to find that balance of how to get back into that routine, um, how to deal with it and decompress and stuff when we come home, coping, um, patients is going to get tested. We're used to a different environment now right the new normal and so we want to be able to transition back to the workplace the kids transitioning back to school um preparing for any and everything that comes with that right um, and also in regards to this i definitely want to make sure to create a culture of community um, and sisterhood i i want us to be able to be there for each other support each other love each other empower each other but as well as hold each other accountable. There are things that you've been wanting to do, there are goals that you've set, and together we can make that happen. And as a community and with the other habitual women or women that join and, and that goes on this movement and is part of this with us, um, definitely we will make sure all of us, including myself, are held accountable to um, the goals and the things that we set and what we wanna do, right? So um, also I'm looking forward to events. Um, right now, obviously, they'll all be virtual. Um, I am trying to figure out some in real life type of events. I have some really good ideas that are beautiful and social distancing in mind and very private and intimate. Uh, so I am working on, on that, hopefully to have one or two of those um, this year, either day or weekend retreat type stuff. Um, and again, really the, the focus on on this year and I'm just going forward but really the focus is really on whole body wellness right mind body the heart just want us to just be there together to grow to make changes to shift to accept to let go and be okay with all that all right um, with that being said a new companionship to all of this aside from coaching and, and the tips and the training and the recipe guides, um, is gonna be the Habitual Woman podcast. So um, a great companionship 
Um, that's where lots of habits of the dove into a little bit more uh, with lots of resources to make them possible as well as special guests um, the women that are lined up um, for the show are amazing and I'm gonna let you know I'm a big big fan of pretty much everyone who's um, agreed to be on the show and I can't look uh, I can't wait to see who else ends up on the show so look forward um, that's coming very very soon um, in January so um, that's the lifestyle portion of Year of the Habitual Woman. Check you in the next video.